cold weather tips for you and your pet from a vet that you probably haven't thought about, which I think is good timing given that we are in the teens in North Carolina. So these Southerners don't know what's up. First things first, and this might seem obvious, but your animals do need to come in at night. When it gets this cold, it is dangerous for dogs and cats to be left outside. And if you have any feral cats or stray cats around, there's a bunch of tutorials online about how to make them little houses and to keep warm. The second tip is that when you're coming in from outside, when you're walking your dog or your cat goes outside, it's important to wash their feet when there's a lot of salt and a lot of chemicals and antifreeze and stuff that can get on the ground that can be either irritating to your dog's feet or actually be toxic. Speaking of antifreeze, even though most of the formulations in the United States now are safe or not as toxic as some of the older formulations of antifreeze, it's still best practice to clean up any spills immediately because unfortunately they literally taste like candy. It's, it's a pretty sweet liquid and dogs love it. And tip number four is make noise. So basically the warm engines of your car and just like the security of being under the hood in your car is a really common place for cats to want to nest at night. So it is really, really important to make noise when you come into the garage or get in your car in the morning before going to work, you know, bang on the hood, that sort of thing to try to get them out. I personally have seen multiple cats come in with really bad injuries from them starting an engine with the cat in it. And nextly, this can be a really hard time for some of our senior pets. Not only are the slick and icy conditions um, harder to walk on safely, but the coldness can also be tough on their creaky joints. So you may need to have a little bit of a longer warm up. You may need to shorten walks. You may need to throw a sweater on them. You may need to up some of their medications like their anti-inflammatories and stuff temporarily so we can get through this cold spout. And I'm running out of time, but the uh, next video will go over some of the most important things in my opinion.